The word lens breaks the English language. Let me show you why. L-E-N-S, lens. Do you lie awake at night thinking about this word? Yes. You may think that's weird, but if you do, you've just not yet understood the sheer chaos of what we're dealing with here. And like trying to explain an Escher painting, there is no logical place to start. Because you're not supposed to look into it. But let's just start where I started. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Looking at this box. It was just an ordinary Thursday for me, just looking very closely at the box that my lens came in. And I'm looking at it for, you know, 30 minutes and a thought struck me. If you didn't know what this box contained, you'd have no way of figuring that out. Because on five of the six sides of this box, which might I remind you is for a lens and nothing else, it just says a bunch of fancy numbers and trademarks and stuff, but never, well, lens. So if this turned up to your house and you hadn't ordered it, you'd have no way of knowing that it wasn't a bomb without opening it, which would be about as advisable as making a whole video about the word lens. In other words, it'd be stupid. Don't do it. Don't open boxes until you know what's in them, which is going to be very difficult since they don't tell you that. But if you carefully turn the box to a specific one of the six sides and use your wits, they'll tell you what the filter thread size is, 77 millimeters. Oh, and also what's actually in the box, that bit's in font size 0.004. It's kind of like they're hoping we don't read this. That's exactly what it's like. So let's read it, but ironically, we're going to need an entirely different lens to read it because it'd be utter madness to try and read this print size with a 14 millimeter lens. I'm not insane. I'm a well-reasoned and normal person. So in order to read the print on this box, I spent money on the equipment appropriate to do so. So anyway, now that we can see it, it starts to become clear why they never wanted anyone reading this. It's even been printed on a removable sticker, just in case some no-lifer spends a few days looking a little too closely at it. But it's too late, I'm onto them, and let's just say, I found some inconsistencies. Very good. Speaking of finding things, today's video sponsor Surfshark VPN is great at helping you find the rest of the internet that is currently hiding from you. I've been using a VPN since I first started to learn languages because there's just so much more available with it, but I switched to Surfshark about four years ago and I couldn't have been happier with the change. One of my favorite features with Surfshark that you don't get with other VPNs is the ability to put it on unlimited devices. Because between phones, tablets, PCs, etc., in a house of eight people, five, five of, of whom, whom are myself, myself, we reach any normal kind of device limit very, very quickly. Some of you know that I do my best to raise my youngest kid in Swedish, which hasn't been easy, but Surfshark has made it a lot easier because when he does have screen time, we at least like it to be in Swedish where possible. And there's tons of great stuff, often for free, on foreign websites that would just otherwise be blocked from here in Australia, and that goes for a lot of languages. Whether you are interested in learning languages or just opening up more of the internet, Surfshark is the first thing you want to look at grabbing. Because with the link in the description and using code Lamont L A M ONT to get three months for free. It works out to like a few dollars a month. It's such a steal for what it provides you with. And that's before we even get into all the security stuff like stopping websites from tracking you, data breach alerts, a fully fledged antivirus that I actually use as my ordinary antivirus software now. There's just a ton of value added into this one package. Personally, I think most of the things on their own would make it worth having, but then all wrapped up into the one package for the one price makes it a complete no brainer. Link is in the description. And once you've used it, you can can come back to finish hearing me rant about the word lens. It starts off normal enough. Interchangeable lens, L-E-N-S for digital camera. Sigma, for those unaware, Sigma is another brand of lens. Well, they just write interchangeable lens. Stop saying it weird like that. He's saying it weird. Lens. Yeah, that's right. It's pronounced the lens. We all know that. It doesn't matter where you're from, what kind of accent you have. If you're speaking English and you need to refer to this thing or this thing, you say lens. You might have a different accent, sure. Some of the rest of the word might sound a little bit different, but we can all agree that the last part is a Z sound, like someone sleeping, like Z for Zulu, not S for Sierra, L-E-N-Z lens. Except that of course it's not. It's spelled with an S. But that's not the weird part, because you see, lens has to be the most commonly misspelled eBay and marketplace item ever. People spell it with a Z. Right? No, they don't. They spell it with an E at the end. L-E-N-S-E. -E. Lens. 
You tread a dangerous path, friend. And that sort of makes sense in that it seems to conform to the patterns of English just a little bit better. It kind of looks right, I suppose. But at the same time, can you think of a single word that ends in NSE and rhymes with Mercedes Benz? No. Adding the E, if anything, makes it more likely to be ENTS, like intense or immense. Now, it is possible that you thought of one, but full disclosure, I had to look it up. I looked it up. A word that ends in NSE and rhymes with lens. I found one. One. Cleanse. And I would ordinarily accept this defense of such a spelling error, except even that word, cleanse, which for the record I doubt anyone was thinking of when they listed their Nikon 24 to 70, just 10 years old and not many nicks and scrapes and a full $80 less than the same thing brand new. Seriously people, Google the price of items before you list them, you look ridiculous. He's right. You look ridiculous. But I'm not going to accept it this time because even cleanse is itself an exception with that semi-welcome A reminding us that the whole thing has something to do with clean. Like, can you imagine if someone just wrote cleanse? Like that? I can't. And maybe you're thinking, ah, but you've just proven that lens is a normal word after all. It shouldn't have an E because it's not pronounced a lens. But here's the thing, it shouldn't exist at all. Seriously, stop now. Look, we'll show you. Lots of pens, one pen. Lots of hens, one hen. Lots of wrens, one wren. Lots of tens, one ten. Lots of lens. This word is just hanging around like it's normal to act like a plural when you're not. Like imagine if you met someone and they said their name was Benz and you were like, oh, that's an interesting name, B-E-N-Z, like the luxury car. And they were like, no, B-E-N-S, no apostrophe, because my name's Ben several times. You'd be like, nice to meet you. All. But with lens, not only do we tolerate it, we encourage it. It has its own plural. Lenses. We're just gonna stand by and watch this happening. Yeah? I mean, let's try to think of some more singular words that end in an S that sounds like a Z, but still make themselves plural by adding another Z. How many can you think of? I'll make it easy for you. It's zero, none. And you can demonstrate this by going to rhyme generators and giving it the word lenses. This song lyrics page gives you suggestions for words that are the nearest rhymes that are still commonly used in songs. Which wouldn't be a bad idea except that when they say near rhymes, they mean non-rhymes. Basically, this is a list of 26 words that do not rhyme with lenses. If I were teaching a kindergarten class, which I have been declared competent to do, by the way, and I were to ask if anyone knew any words that rhymed with petals and a kid said lenses, I'd ring his parents, which apparently also rhymes with lenses. So instead we have to look at exact rhymes, and here, even the almighty AI admits defeat. Oh sorry ChatGPT, did I give you a task that could be difficult, did I? Why don't you just say you can't do it? Let's just say that humans must be better than AI, at least for another couple of months, because guess what can technically be a noun, and therefore has a plural? Cleanse. So if you were to go through several juice cleansers to cure your addiction of buying lenses, then we have ourselves a viable precedent. If we ignore the fact that lens isn't spelled like cleanse and is actually spelled like it's already a plural. Well done. You've got what you wanted. Time to go home. But this enigma of a mystery, of a riddle, of a labyrinth of a word is not yet unraveled because L-E-N-S is not the only weird thing you'll notice if you spend a Thursday looking at the box for a lens. Oh no, this rabbit hole goes a lot deeper. Which is why you shouldn't go down it. You see, I thought the word lens was an anomaly in English. But when we start looking at other languages, it gets even weirder. Because on this box for a Sigma lens, where the print of what the product actually is can be read without using military grade optical equipment, I noticed the German. Vexel objective. And yes, I know I pronounced that like it was Swedish, but that's because I recognize it. In Swedish, vexel means gear, like a gearbox in a car, but it can also mean change as in money. And a similar word, vexla, is the verb to change or to switch or swap. And given that in the English we see interchangeable and then lens, this makes sense. I may not speak German, but I can see where this is coming from. Objective as in lens and vexel as in interchangeable, swappable, switchable, changeable lens of a switchable or swappable nature. You get the idea. But then I thought, hang on, the Swedish for lens is not objective, it's lens. Is it though? 
Jag ska låta den här linsen avimma sig lite. So now I'm starting to wonder if this word just messes up languages wherever it goes because English, Swedish, Danish, Icelandic, Dutch and even the ever colorful Finnish all arrive at some variation of the word lens or lintz while German goes along with Spanish and French. We've got a singular acting like it's a plural, German acting like it's a romance language and Finnish acting like it's a normal language? What is going on? What is this word hiding? I mean, it must be easy enough to trace the history of the word, right? So I did, and it turns out that looking for references to lenses in Swedish but turning up recipes for soup is not because Swedish Google is broken. It's because the word lins means both lens and lentil which I can handle, okay? It happens all the time in lots of languages. If I can handle the word for the back of your lower leg being the same as a baby cow, and also the same as the word what in Swedish, then I can handle the word lintz, meaning both lentil and lens. But my question then becomes, where did that come from? Why did we name the optical device lens? They named the lens after the lentil. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a sensible decision. What? Didn't I warn you? That's absurd. What do you mean? Because apparently the first lenses made looked like lentils. Why is that the first thing you thought of? And how did you know that lentils were even that shape without first inventing a decent macro lens? A uh, joke there, macro in both senses. Yeah, no, no one, fine. The only way I can picture this happening is if after you made the very first magnifying lens ever, the first thing you chose to look at was a lentil. And hey, no judgment here, you had to test if your lens worked and you had to look at something small. But I do judge you for looking at the shape of the tiny stupid thing and deciding to name one of the most important inventions ever after the lentil. For that, I think you belong in the padded cell, along with the kid who said that petals rhymes with lenses. Well, at least some other languages made some more sensible choices. Objective choice. Чтобы рассказать вам пять причин, зачем вам нужен 50 миллиметровый объектив. Alors le truc c'est que quand je mets objectif, ist ein Objektiv. Principalmente dall'obiettivo. Perché apparati a Dublin non siamo objektiv. Per comprare il obiettivo Sigma 150. Fair enough. Those languages have it sorted out. Case closed. Vi pratar om något väldigt spännande, nämligen objektiv. Jag låta den här linsen avimma sig lite. Pass genom nio stycken bländalameller inuti objektivet och det är också dom. Jag har trädat ett stöpe pedazo de lente. Jag kommentava att det är en optika som bueno, venia. Hur? Varför? Detta lente som vi här är en lente todoterreno. Por el mercado de las ópticas para cámaras Sony. Este no, stop, stop. Again and again. Regarde jamais le soleil. I warned you so many times. Tite inte mot solen. Ja, det förstår jag. You had to keep asking questions. Polish. What the fuck? Lens. They must have stored her nonsense. Why didn't you just move on? Objective or lens? It's just a word. It doesn't matter. No one else cares. Why do you need to know this stuff? Because I'm curious. Yeah, well, you know what they say about curiosity and a certain feline species. Yeah, why is the word feline so different to the word cat? 